Hi hey everybody, this is Manny. And um, today what I'm doing here is I'm actually servicing the uh, BC5 coffee roaster that I got over at Buckeye, uh, Buckeye Coffee. This is a BC5, it's a three to five pound roaster. And what I'm trying to do is maintain it and clean it up. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I haven't cleaned this one up, up since I got it which was approximately in 2017 2016 to 2017 and let me tell you I thought I wasn't using it as much but you know after pulling it some pieces apart I discovered that wow you know I had a lot of buildup of um, uh, soot, uh, soot and uh, as you can see some shab was still uh, uh, coming out from there uh, one of the reasons why I believe that I was getting a lot of uh, suit build up in, in, in the um, in my parts here in the coffee roaster is because of the fact that I like to take uh, my coffee and roast it up into a dark profile and if you notice here uh, all this is, is a combination of grease of all the oils the essential oils from the uh, from the uh, Coffee the roasting process itself and Probably accumulation of a uh, you know dirt that accumulates over time uh, In specific areas where it's kind of hard to reach This right here is the uh, shaft collector and it's not so bad um, It's been doing its job pretty good and if you are going to get into coffee roasting, let me move this out of the way here. Um, these particular coffee roasting machines here, what happens is you got it, um, the, let me see if I get this right. Yep. So you got a internal air coming through and it's actually heating it's, it's a it's uh the beans are actually getting roasted under uh convection currents so the hot air is being expelled out up through this area right here it's coming in through here it's kind of hard to see because the piece is over there but it comes in through here collects some of the shaft over here and the hot air actually gets comes out through here and let me see if I can, yep, here it is. And it goes into this side. Now, if you pay, if you see right over here, there's a, it's like this piece right here is actually a damper. And it's designed inside here, there's two flaps that only go in one direction. They actually go in this, in this direction as the wind is coming out. And correction again. Uh, the hot air is actually coming through this this direction here and this part the hose to this part actually connects to the um when you actually drop the coffee beans into the uh roasting pan here so on the cooling pan and it's getting cycled through there's a i'll, I'll go over there right now and i'll point it better so you can see What's happening here is that as the bean, the hot beans fall, there's a fan getting uh, push, uh, sucking out all the hot hot air as soon as quick as possible, and it's pushing out the uh, the hot air through this ventilation a port right here, and that ventilation port gets connected to this hose right over here. So this one has the uh, damper here. So it's what what's happening is because of course you're gonna get more hot air coming in through uh, uh, this this particular uh, flex pipe, which is connected to the hot air up here. You know you uh, you don't want to have a damper on this side, uh, just on this side, so your hot air will not return back and come out while you're roasting over in the uh, cooling in the cooling basket here. <laughs> But 
the reason I'm showing you this is because I hadn't actually cleaned it for quite a long time. Again, it probably is is since 2016 or 2017, some sometime around there. And there was a lot, a lot of soot and grime and uh, and uh, shaft collected in there. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you are gonna be roasting, uh, don't do what I just did. Uh, you want to clean because that actually is a it's it's gonna be a hazard hazard for your machine and a hazard for your uh, for your uh, exhaust tubes here because you know these machines actually heat up to 500 uh, approximately 500 degrees they actually have a um, they've been set the temperature has been set to uh, 500 max some people actually modify them to go a little bit higher but I would not recommend and the and the uh, the seller does not recommend that you actually uh, change the settings on that. Partly because there's no need to take. Uh, well, in my opinion, there's no need to take. Uh, even if you're going dark on dark roads, there's no need to take your uh, coffee beans uh, up past the uh, 500 and the 500 uh, Fahrenheit. So again, uh, these particular machines here get very hot. They run on propane and you know you definitely want to maintain them and after discovering what i discover i would say you know maybe like and i was again i wasn't roasting that much i was just roasting for myself and trying out different batches and and uh so forth so i would recommend at least at least if you're going to be doing a a lot of coffee per month then either on a monthly basis or uh, every other month because again this is nothing I, I pulled out quite a bit of uh, stuff out uh, earlier again from the exhaust and I haven't even gone into the inside over here to see what that looks like um, I probably will do that tomorrow since it's a little bit late already but again I wanted to give you guys so uh, this is a again this is a BC5 and I got this over at Buckeye Coffee, and I love the roaster. It's very, uh, it's very simple. It's very easy to use. Uh, very, very sturdy, and you know, it's uh, again, it's very simple to use. And it, when it comes in in regards to uh, the quality of the coffee that it actually roasts, and it's it's pretty impressive. And it's it, it tastes very very good. Uh, over here, right behind, this was my first roaster, and it was a hot air convection roaster. And the temperature in the hot air convection roaster actually gets pretty high as well, but the flavor does not compare to the propane drum roaster here. Hot air convection does a does a good job and probably like to medium roasts. But if you wanted that bold flavor uh, from, um, you know, your your coffee, you definitely have to invest on a on a drum roaster. And um, unfortunately, here in America, I'll keep things as real as possible. If uh, if it doesn't go through the UL or other certifying agencies out there, you can have a damn well good roaster out there. But you know, just for putting that UL sticker. On or uh, on the uh, on these machines, you're probably you're talking about fifteen thousand dollars, where these uh, Buckeye coffee machines are very 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 inexpensive. They are certified, but they're not certified through the UL. So it get it, you kind of get into a pissing contest when it comes to uh, city ordinances and so forth because of the fact that they wanna they wanna bitch and complain about. Oh, well, this doesn't have a UL sticker and blah, 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 and this, 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 and that. And, you know, whether, it doesn't matter whether they have a UL sticker or not. These roasters are, uh, if you maintain them correctly, like, again, I've been using this one for a few years now. And I'm really, really impressed because it's done its job. Uh, again, I'm a, I hadn't been doing large quantities. Maybe, like, two pounds here and there. Um, at the most, maybe five pounds when I took it up coffee over to my parents in Los Angeles but you know I, I, I'm really 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 happy really happy with the quality of these uh, 
of the way these uh, coffee machines were manufactured and put together. So thank you, uh, Buckeye Coffee. Big shout out to you guys and people. Again, if you're gonna invest in one of these uh, coffee roasters, smaller or bigger, you wanna get into the habit of really, really, really maintaining them every, uh, at least every other mo a month or every other month. Don't do what I did again. Again, this is Manny and thank you for watching.